turmoil in the Middle East and North Africa and a potential nuclear meltdown. Those possible disasters have some people asking, what's next? And that means they're also preparing for the worst. Here now is CNN's Christine Romans. We got a new contract today. The name of the project is Surefire Survival Community. If you want to prepare for disaster, Brian Camden is your man. The 55-year-old civil engineer is the owner of Hardened Structures. He's been in the business of building bomb shelters for 20 years. And right now, that business is booming. Right now, it's probably a new project every other week. Well, our biggest seller is a six-person prefabricated steel uh, shelter that sells for about $38,000. Demand for all kinds of survival supplies is up. There's the ordinary, like these 55-gallon barrels sold by Shelf Reliance for water storage. And the extraordinary, like this order for a 900-ton steel arc, which can hold 185 people and food for five years. This, in the event there's, well, water everywhere. Obviously picked up with the uh, uh, the earthquake in Japan. So there's the um, the unrest in the Middle East. I think the economy has a great deal to do with it. Costco has seen a surge in sales of freeze-dried food, and the company Underground Shelters has had inquiries jump by 400 percent since the earthquake in Japan. This isn't the first time there's been a boom in bunkers in the U.S. During the Cold War, there were no less than 200,000 bomb shelters across the country, many of them home shelters. According to the Wall Street Journal, an article from 1961, one Chicago company received 1,000 orders in just one week for fabricated steel shelters. Nowadays, Camden says he sees two types of clients. Some of the clients who feel like the threat is imminent, and then you have the other clients who are starting to prepare and move forward. It's impossible to predict if the current demand for bomb shelters will last, but for now... A hardened structure by nature is basically asset protection, and most people identify their family as their number one asset. Christine Romans, CNN, New York. Their preparations remind us that it is probably a good thing uh, to have a few things that are always on hand. A radio, charged batteries, and some extra bottles of water and uh, cans of food as well.